Hey everybody, look here at the Apple Tech on today's video, and today I want to introduce you to the IAP installer. Let's get started. So the IAP installer is a brand new application made by us that will allow you to install our Mac software with one simple app, utility, whatever you want to call it, and we don't have to have any internet running no links anywhere this will just allow you to install anything that you want that we've made for your mac so all you have to do is just head on over to ip-software the link will be in the description below download any click the download link on any of our mac software it will download this right here the ip installer and then we can launch this as you can see right here this is actually an installer it shows it right there but we just added a little icon to it just to put a little flare on it so we have our icon right there and welcome to the IAP installer it shows you when this app was last updated and the reason we have this here is so you know when it was last updated so if there's a new version of let's say hide and you want that new version of hide you know if it's been added to this or not so we just have a thank you for choosing everything um, it tells you why JotSpot isn't on here and these may not look like they're clickable, but they actually are. And if you need any help, you can email us. So we have our continue, software license agreement. Again, this link's clickable, doesn't look like it, but it is. Um, just boring stuff, unless you're planning on um, selling our software. Continue, agree, destination select. If you have multiple drives, you can select which one you want to install to. Keep in mind that you're going to need um, to have an administrator username and password if you want to do this. We considered making one that wouldn't um, use your administrator password, but it's just a little more secure this way. So we can hit continue. And now this is where we get to the fun part and install our stuff. So right here we have apps and widgets. See both of these are expandable right there and right there. So we have our size of them on this side right here. We have Hide, Jot Spotlight for the Mac apps, and for the Mac widgets, we have Apple Tech One Toys and Tri Gauge. And if we click on something, I'll just do Hide. So you can see we get a nice description of it. We can do the same for Jot Spotlight, Apple Tech One Toy widget, and Tri Gauge. So you get a better idea. So if you're just coming to install Jot Spotlight and you stumbled upon Tri Gauge, you can learn more about it and maybe you can install it. So what we can do, we'll just check the box for hide there. Um, it shows you the space required, the total space remaining on your hard drive. Continue, it will install it. You can change your installation location. Um, you can click the install button. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have hide installed on this computer. But after you install it, you'll need to enter your password and everything. Um, it'll give you a nice sound effect. It will thank you for installing everything. And we don't do this no default thank you summary stuff. No way. We give you personalized greetings, thank yous, and there's a couple links. So if you want need any support, you can feel free to click those links. All that stuff, and that's pretty much it. It's just a very simple utility. If we go back here, you can see the total on everything. If I select everything, it's going to be about 4.9 megabytes. But if I go over here, you can see this is 2.5 megabytes. So it's taking up less space than all that software combined. And this is going to be really good. So it's not taking up a lot of space. And if you keep wanting to install software, because you love our software so much, you can drag this into your applications folder. It's not going to take up much size at all. It's going to take up less size than Flappy Bird. <laughs> Yeah, so um, you just put it in your um, applications folder, downloads, whatever, keep it with you, won't take up much space at all. And even if you want to delete it, you can download it from any of the download links in our Mac apps. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the IAP installer, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to download the IAP installer, there'll be a link in the description below to do so. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you right back in the next one. Thanks for watching.